frustrating tonight for the Cobblers after Saturday's winning at Salford. A, a frustrating night here for you. Yeah, look, it's very frustrating. It's a, it's an off night. We, we, they've come to spoil the game and you know uh, sit men behind the ball, which they did well, and and then try and break. And you know we weren't sharp enough with our passing. Overall, it's um, you know it's something for us to certainly learn uh, and learn quite quickly. Um, look, overall, I don't want to go too heavy into it. I'm disappointed as, as many and the boys are disappointed as, as many because when you have a performance full of energy and um, power and pace on um, Saturday and then you have really a polar opposite tonight, um, you end up scratching your head and thinking, well, why are we, why are we like this? You know, and uh, look, we'll look into it, uh, and and we know we've got to be better, but let's get it right. We're still, results have gone okay, and we're uh, only two or three points off uh, with a game in hand off uh, off the top three. So, um, you know, we'll uh, we'll regroup and get it right. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to make excuses for you, and I appreciate there was only one change from the starting lineup from mm. Saturday tonight. Yeah. But as the influx of new players and the departure of a couple, did that disrupt you a little bit ahead of this game, or isn't that isn't that a fair thing to say? Uh, you know, look, I wouldn't make excuses for anything, and you know, I appreciate you trying to be quite kind there, Tim. But you know, look, if we're to do anything this season, we're going to be consistently strong in our performance, and. Um, you know, to go from the weekend's performance where we we're, were really, really good first half. We had to manage the conditions second half. Um, and then, you know, I've had to change shape after 15, 20 minutes to make sure we, we get a foothold in the game. And once once we change shape, we were, we were much better. And then we just, we the, the shape meant we didn't have really the right players once we changed that shape to get a foothold in the game it meant we didn't have the right specific players round pegs and round holes as such so then um, obviously we made some changes but you know when they're sitting that deep like they did we you know we didn't get round the back of them or, or we didn't threaten uh, their goal and that was the disappointing thing really overall uh, what about plus points tonight you had uh... Lubala off the bench, your, your debutant tonight. I thought he looked lively, worked hard to try and fashion that equaliser. Yeah, it's hard as a wide man, and I've been a wide, ex wide man myself. It's, it's very hard when you know they sit back like that, and sometimes you've got to put, put in earlier crosses, and we talked to the boys about doing that, but obviously uh, we took too many touches at times and didn't put them in. But look, Bez showed some good glimpses of skill. He'll uh, really come up the speed over the next. Uh, two or three weeks because he hasn't played uh, for, for over a year and to come on and look quite lively and sharp and probably be one of our brighter sparks uh, was pleasing, yes. And like Epier and Kanu, you know, once they get more game time in their legs, as the phrase goes, John, they'll, they'll improve. Yeah, you could see with uh, Josh early on, the first 20 minutes, he looked really sharp and bright and uh, again, he was probably our only bright spark in that first 20 minutes and you know, uh, a few other things when, when he was really pressing hard. It was unusually un uncharacteristic for us that, that we didn't support him on that press, you know, and that was that was really disappointing. And God, I felt like, you know, at times you were having to drag the, the boys um, forward and that was, that was hard, that was, that was hard. And it was disappointing. And uh, frustration almost boiling over at one point, you got a little bit of a skirmish with Jason Taylor on this near side, but he appeared to kick the ball in a, in a manner that wasn't very That's sporting. Him, the ball come out He's... of play and I, I put my foot on top of the ball and he tried to tackle me, but uh, <laughs> I think I won the tackle, so uh, it was good. But look, you know, yeah, I wish we showed that sort of fight, but it um, wasn't to be. OK, onwards and upwards to Walsall on Saturday. Now, the Cobbers have had a couple of really disappointing results there in recent seasons, important defeats, you'll be looking to put things right at the best goal, with good support on Saturday from the Coppers fans. Yeah, and uh, it'd be great to have good support. Um, whatever's gone in the past, I don't believe in, um, you know, that type of thing. It's what we do on the day, and, you know, we've got to get back to uh, being at our, um, our strongest and our, our sharpest, and we've got to be a lot better than we were tonight, but we'll dust ourselves down and um, we'll get it right. All right, thanks for your time, John. Thanks. Thanks.